You ready? I'm ready. In three, mm. two, slate. <laughs> oh, hi, everybody. We just found out who's hosting this show, at least for the first 10 seconds. Uh, hi, it's Joel about. McHale and Kyle McLaughlin. Hey, everybody. And we have found an excuse to drink on camera on Perfect. this episode of Drink a Bottle. <laughs> Or many bottles. We're going to do a little more than that. Yeah. How are you? Uh, I'm well, fellow Washingtonian. Yay. Kyle fellow, and I fell in love. Uh, yes, over uh, our mutual love of Washington and the Seahawks and our alma mater. I yes, say. the University of Washington, everybody. Yeah, yeah. If they could just see us now. They can. <laughs> they can. They can see us. And they will. Kyle, but before we begin forward. drinking, let's... Start drinking. Let's start drinking. Before we actually begin drinking, let's start with this. Uh, I know that you're not a huge... You'll, we'll get to how Kyle is a renaissance man when it comes to uh, his love of mm. acting and wine. Mm. He also builds small airplanes. Mm. Um, Little known fact. Yep, he makes ceramics. We'll get into all of that. Uh, <laughs> and we have brought uh, wines that we love. Yes, so that's the idea. We're both here drinking wines that mean something to us, and I've got a couple tucked away here that uh, have got a story behind them, and has Joel, and this is a wine I'm not familiar with. I My grandfather it. gave this to me. Did he? No, oh, he's, he's never dying he today. <laughs> How dare you? He's doing great. <laughs> is he uh, fine? No, well, he's been dead for 20 years, but... Oh, dear. Uh, oh, dear. No, uh, this was... Uh, why did I bring this? Because I knew we would just be drinking mostly red, because yes. we're both huge red fans. Yes. And I thought I want to try. I want to give Kyle a white that he is going to be surprised by and maybe be actually like. Ah. Uh, and I don't know if you will. Uh, this is from. There's a country called France where they make wine. No kidding. And I was already told this is probably a blend. It's called Landenberg. Okay. And uh, it tastes like apples in autumn. Oh, even perfect from in where France. I'm from. Yeah. yeah, from Yakima, Washington, Washington. The, the Palm Springs of Washington. Washington. Uh, so there it is, folks. Yeah. There it and is the right Apple there. Capital it's of the world. It's a 2016 Cru d'Alsace. Wow. Um, so I don't know. It's I, very serious. The, I'm not a wine expert, so I have no idea which, what kind of grape it is, but okay. uh, well, it's, it's definitely a white. It's a definitely a white grape. Oh, cheers to you. Yeah, uh, cheers, man. Lovely to have you here in my backyard. You. Thank you, thank you. To, uh, yes, and to all to, of you. To driving home. Watching. <laughs> We're going to send you an Uber. Mm. It's great. It tastes like mouthwash, kind of a. That's really beautiful. It I'm should surprised. be. Yeah. For twelve hundred dollars a bottle. Twelve hundred dollars. Is that what it is? Yeah. So that sip is about thirty dollars. Yeah. Can you believe I paid that much for that, you guys? Unbelievable. Yeah. You, I do you anything. Must, you must really like me. Uh, yeah. That's really nice. It's got a. It's got a nice acid. Uh, brightness in it I didn't expect. Do you drink white at all? Yeah, I do. Okay. I, I've got some producers that I love, a California producer named uh, Mark Bear, U-B-E-R-T, and he's a fantastic winemaker. He makes extraordinary whites. I love his stuff. Why are we drinking that? Just well, kidding. Well, because kidding. It's okay. we can There's, do this. Yeah, well, <laughs> the episode will be nine hours long. <laughs> there should be a version of this where it just be called All You Can Drink, yeah. and it's not... It just like, goes and goes and goes. It's just see how far it goes before you blackout. <laughs> I'm in for that. It's like the ultra marathon. Yeah. yeah perfect. 50 miles. Those people are crazy. Mm -hmm. mm. 